Well, we're really glad to be here at DSEI this year with this engine at long last. There's been such a lot of uh, false dawns for people with diesel outboard engines, uh, mm -hmm. but the company in Sweden, Simco Marine Diesel, are the first people to really execute a proper viable solution. Uh, as you see, you've been out on it, it works, it runs, it's here, it exists. So many people have said it's a lot of hot air, but here we are, we manage it, and it works. Uh, it, it is a 200 horsepower diesel engine, it's viable. Um, it also has a patented belt drive to take the torque from the diesel engine and not allow the gears at the bottom gear set to be damaged as they would be in the normal way of a high torque diesel engine and a diesel outboard option. With a belt drive, the drive is delivered smoothly and capably. Well, the main advantage to diesel is that uh, petrol is becoming more and more difficult to obtain shoreside. There's the NATO fuel directive, which suggests that all naval ships should no longer be allowed to carry petrol. Uh, we've been astounded at the commercial interest in the engine. It's just been amazing, and that's made it even more rewarding for us. Originally, the engine was designed to meet the NATO needs, but we've been overwhelmed by interest from other markets. We wouldn't say it's a direct you wouldn't take off a 200 horsepower petrol, put on a 200 horsepower diesel, expect the same response. It has a completely different operating profile, but it's a diesel engine outboard which drives the boat along and it's, it performs fabulously well. We're not having to pitch it too hard, the customers are finding us, which is fantastic. Um, naval interest is enormous, as you might imagine. Uh, in addition to that, we have an awful lot of commercial interest from aquaculture, fish farms, endless amounts of commercial users are just everybody seems to want it and also it's allowing us to go to places or boat builders our clients go to places where before they couldn't sell they can now sell to places in Norway where there's no petrol available so their traditional petrol engined outboards couldn't work but now they have the diesel option they can 